Okay, we're back again. And we're Sekiro. Yeah, we're still fighting a man with a giant stick. I'm gonna have to get down there and do something too. Yeah. Just jump yeah. on. Bruno! Nyeh! Nyeh! Just hit. Oh god! Oh my lord! No! Wow. Yikes! Now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> How the hell do you even? Go back to your temple. Okay. Okay. Oh. It's a dead horse. Ah. Love it, 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 it. <laughs> Yo. You know, I don't think that there's any other developer that I've really enjoyed the games from as much over the years as From Software. Like, right. Just, and it's totally by coincidence. Because I love I love the when they used to be good game. was the Elder Scrolls and all that, but <laughs> Skyrim. All right. The best description of Skyrim <laughs> I ever heard. The old man. Oh. was out of, a, out of a review right when it came out, and I cannot for the uh, fucking life of me find no. who actually Sorry. said it. I probably could. This is going to be but called Red Guard, and we're going Sorry. back to Daggerfall. We're not going back to Daggerfall. I know, that's what everybody keeps saying. It's, it's going to be Redfall. It's, it's like not going. We, we were there in Elder Scrolls 2. Why would we go mm -hmm. back? Shinobi no, I mean, Elder Scrolls 2 is already the... It, it's still the best fucking Elder Scrolls game. It felt like my character wasn't actually progressing Oh, okay. Unless I used the magic music. But even then, that was just because my repertoire of spells kept building. But Daggerfall was just... Daggerfall was a fucking dungeon master unto itself, you know? It was huge and it was open, but it was also weirdly granular. Like, if you were captured, and like, I have a PC, I play Morrowind and Oblivion, but I've right. never tried for Arena. I'm man enough to admit that I've never made it out of Arena starting dungeon. And arena is absolutely balls hard. Have we noticed that for every time I've died, my hair gets whiter? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was just the bear on the TV. Nope. I really need your glasses. Press start. There you go, prosthetic tools. You didn't talk to him, did you, about your prosthetics? I was trying to. There you go. Fit new prosthetic tool. Loaded axe. Plain, Plain vent. Care. So much to be You change them with your margin. Oh, okay. Hey, do you have to lock onto an enemy to fire a shuriken? Yes. I mean, you can fire it randomly, but if you want to hit the enemy, you have to lock on to it. Are you able to free it? You like, get a reticle? And no. Guide to correct it? Yeah. It's... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now I, was I can go over here. Because I was wondering if it was possible to use them as distractions, like, throw them in the environment, they make a noise, enemies wander over, and... How was that? I got oh, temple. I guess it was just the wind that left a fucking go throwing knife right here on the ground. Huh. You're right. Err. That's not the old dude, that's the chick. Were you taking me to? <clears throat> the undead dude. I couldn't make a joke. The undead about dude. Up the hill right now. No, I'm not going to. That's racist. Right up there. Yeah. You've never talked to this dude? I apparently not, because he's new to me. <clears throat> this guy will help you train with shit. Alright. Me mm -hmm. God, I loved the trainer in the uh, N64 Zelda games. Right. I don't know why that just came to me. 
I mean, any other game, a trainer just like gives you a menu and you buy moves. That's what we actually practice with. Face me in battle. <laughs> Thanks for trying, though. No? Right. That swordsmanship. It was a thing to behold. I'm Few have managed. Back expecting this, like, epic badass sword fight. <laughs> right. And you just pull his ring piece out through his throat. I don't know what was funny. Your reaction to the whole thing, or the fact that once we started going to battle, you got excited. I just don't know if I should be disappointed by her. What were you expecting? Because it was so short? Like, super badass, like, like, Oh, okay. A warm body that can't die I might prove useful to you. I volunteer mine. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
you know. I'm kind of a <laughs> I love to get smacked around. Let's begin. Free combat's now available. Q. Training. Putini. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, they have it would be in the free combat, wouldn't it? Maybe. Footy combat. I'm the new one. So Here we go. Hey, ow. This asshole is the trainer. Oh, come on. Time. You didn't have any issues with this earlier. He's Roboid from Jet Set Radio Future. Face me again. No. Oh. Okay, get up. Whoa. Satisfying match. Okay. New training option available. Oh my god. Woo. Consecutive deflections. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, deflect all enemy attacks and perform three dead blows. Death blows. As an attack lands, consecutive deflections. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> That's pretty damn cool. Nope, I didn't do it! Yes! <laughs> You're probably not supposed to spin, but you get a rhythm. Nice! Yeah. That was actually fun! I like that. Because as you do it, you just learn how to time that better. And actually... You reminded me of like something Kennedy that I wanted Punch. to talk about earlier because uh, you mentioned that you really liked the music that was going in Dusk. Yeah. And, all right, this is going to sound weird and it actually scared the shit out of me the first time it happened. Okay. But for the past few weeks, I've been studying self-hypnosis. Okay. And while playing Dusk, I actually dropped into a hypnotic trance and just fucked everything up in it. But the music... When I went back and I looked at the footage that I'd recorded, mm -hmm. no, actually I didn't record it because as soon as I noticed it, I had I broke the spell basically. But all my actions were happening in perfect time to the music. Okay. But all of the music in Dusk is actually really simple. Like it's crap to listen to by itself, and that's not actually. You harmonize with the gameplay, right? And the sounds. I, I really want to point out that that's not a knock against Andrew Hallshill, the guy that made the music. Okay. Because it's absolutely perfect background. It's It's got this sort of chunky rolling beat, but it's all power chords and simple riffs. That's like, what... I, know, I was disappointed that there were no solos. But right. going back and looking at it, it, it would have distracted. Yeah. You know? Anything straying from a pattern would be distracting. Right. And that's actually what a lot of uh, dojos and uh, sword practitioners kind of emphasize on of being mm -hmm. fluid with your motions. It's just a feeling for rhythm. Right. It's the elimination of unnecessary noise. Yeah. You know, whether it's auditory, visual, mental. Becoming one with your surroundings and becoming one with your action. Right. Basically no. becoming focused. <laughs> right. Like, I've used meditative trances for years playing games now, but never a hypnotic one. And it was absolutely fucking insane. Yeah, I've done that before. Like, just all of a sudden, when I get in an intense battle and hear that music, just try to, like, okay, let's do this and no, just start it, going. It was... I guess it's a right. lot different than just right. actually just, like, fighting something to the beat of something it's... rather than fighting harmon uh, it harmonizingly. Was, it was totally different, dude. It was primal. It, I was fighting these late game enemies called Cowboys. They're like basically cyber demons. <laughs> they fire these fast moving rockets at you. And I felt fear. Okay. I genuinely goddamn terrified for my life. Mm -hmm. And 
and I just dropped into it. And the thing about hypnosis is that it'll go sort of wood, you know, like yeah. robotic. And there will be these spasms, these minor twitches of involuntary muscle movement. Yeah. Which was happening just all over my back. And you should have seen my fingers on the WASD That's how I was. I couldn't even try it. You can't even replicate it. It was so perfect. Not even close. That's crazy. I really need to actually record it. I need to try to forcibly induce it. Ah, oh, there we go. So much better now. Okay, so we're sidestep and counterattacking. Got it. Okay, death blow number one. Actually, I did lie a little bit just now. A lot of the music is pretty good in the by itself. It's just none of the combat music. Ouch. Eh. But when the game slows Ow. down, it'll get super atmospheric, too. It's massive. Right. No less of you. Yay. Training. Countering thrust attacks. Oh boy. Uh, L1. As enemy thrust lands to flex. Step. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Ouch. Basically like a um, counter on me. Like on the uh Except you have to keep an eye on yourself though. Right. Woo! <laughs> probably only one something you don't need to lock on to, if I guess. Yeah. No, I mean, from software. Okay, and then the last one is a sweep attack. Oh my god. I hate those! I always enjoy their games, but there's always some kind of arbitrary niggling shit that gets out. You know, Togi, it was the fact that your MP constantly dwindles and once that runs out, your health drains. <laughs> so all the levels were basically on a super strict time limit. Unless you kept killing enemies, which would score up. We really need to do like a podcast at some point, just going over things that we've accumulated in our life that are just like total gratifying circumstances, like the whole you know self uh, hypnosis. Okay, this one's gonna be fun. Oh. Oh. I have to do it like right next to him. Yeah, you go with Something wrong? I probably have to do it at the right moment. I wonder if you just do it on the way up. He's way down. Once you're in mid air, hit it. Woo! Oh, you were. <laughs> okay. That helps a lot. It would also help the read too. <laughs> oh my god, that's cool. Face me again. All right. So it actually is an action. Yeah. Right. Oh, that was gratifying. <laughs>
Oh no, here we go. You don't have to do gratify. Oh, we don't. My mind immediately goes to masturbation. What now? Every time I hear the word gratifying, my mind immediately just goes to masturbation. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That, that's. Is there something else that he's going to do for, um, for no. us? You, you have to unlock moves to try and use that. Okay. Because we've practically yeah, done all these. Alright. Go go back wherever you want to do. You can go feed the ogre now. Uh, uh, oh. No, God, fuck that thing. Just! Fuck that thing. I don't want Well, you have something long, hard, and slightly curved to give to it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My sword. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> that too. Ooh, I've got skill hey, points, guys! You got skill points. Guys. Cool. Got souls. <laughs> <laughs> or, sorry, blood echoes. Go all the way down. Down. Okay, this one? Down. Uh. Left. Left. That'd be right. That'd be left. Okay. The, the number two, you want that one. The number two. Macari uh, counter. Oh. Acquires, uh, acquires Shinobi martial art. Mikiri counter. Oh, that's going to be how you drop that uh, one asshole. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's, that's, that's the asshole now. You can enable this one you can to counter enemy thrust attacks by stomping down on an enemy's weapon, dealing a large amount of damage to posture. It is nearly impossible to perceive the speed of a thrust, but not the sharp eyes of a shinobi. Oh man, that's gonna be fun. Acquire Miki to counter, yes, please. Okay. So it seems to really emphasize high risk, high reward scenarios way more than other Souls games. <laughs> yeah, that run the slide. Allows one to slide into a crouched position while sprinting. Sprint through an area and slide into cover, otherwise out of view. Ooh! Why don't we do that? Why wasn't that available already? Like, right? You think that, you'd think that would be like the thing? second lesson when he got his uh... freaking yellow belt. <laughs> <coughs> a latent skill that reduces an enemy's ability to perceive those who are in stealth. Oh my yes, fucking I know god. When it was just the black and the white belts. Uh, what's For this? Those of you pedantic people on the internet. <laughs> mid-air deflection allows one to guard against to de or deflect an enemy attack in mid-air. Guns and other projectile weapons deal additional damage to airborne targets. And this technique can serve to prevent that damage. A shinobi is not shot down so easily. Cool. I think I'm just going to take a minute. Okay, so that's probably added. Uh, that one will probably break the damn spear. Um, they're both like the same. What's that? Yeah, and so do the other four icons. Whirlwind Slash. Oh, no! That's the thing yeah. do it. Oh! <laughs> a spinning attack that can hit several enemies at once. The sharp cut combined with the force of the spin can strike multiple foes, dealing damage even when guarded. When surrounded by enemies, this shinobi technique can cut open a path to victory. I can yeah. just picture reading that and right in uh, Zavala's accent. Who? Zavala from Destiny. Oh. This sharp cut combined with the force of the spin can strike multiple foes and deal damage even when guarded. When surrounded by enemies, this shinobi technique can cut open a path to victory. Ah. Not sound I, familiar at all? I, okay. I, uh, honest, my opinion of Destiny largely is not a kind one. The lore of it is what I was into more than I was into the gameplay. Um, if you if you had the time to I, I read the Grimoire, Gr uh, Grimoire. Thank you. Grimoire cards. Yeah. I just I like story. I like background story. Just overall development. Yeah. Why they couldn't introduce that type of wow. We're playing a different game and talking about a different game. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. We're going off something. <laughs> right. Free. Do what you're passionate about. Right. I mean, I do my yeah, let's plays at the step. Now you can go practice that skill with old dudes. Oh, really? Yeah. That's but what actually, those are good you know what? for. This will make a good 
you know, segue talking point. Because my big issue with Destiny's lore was its delivery. Yeah. If it can't be delivered well, then, you know, why should I... If you couldn't do it, why did you? Writing Destiny was crap. Yeah, they all know that. We all know that. It's so cool. So it's but cool. even good writing it's couldn't save the fact that in a lot of the cutscenes, it was fucking hilarious because you had these gigantic dudes in super hulking power armor wearing face masks, trying to emote by waving their arms around and waxing philosophical. Okay. And it never stopped looking like an episode of a He-Man era type cartoon. Gotcha. Known as Me Kitty Counter, this is a powerful, if risky move that deals I'm more posture damage than a regular deflect. That mic probably didn't pick me up just now at all. Uh, I mean, that's okay. It, it, it's a little sensitive. What? As a thrust lands. Okay. Oh. Um. Ooh! That! Okay! Again, I want more! <laughs> oh! Oh my god! It's so cool! <laughs> You're so good at that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. everywhere, man. <laughs> you just can't get enough. All right. You know what? I Shit feel so butt. satisfied. <laughs> I feel uh, satisfied enough with the training <laughs> and getting the skill points. I think yes. next time on Game this Time. This has been the most fascinating episode so far. <laughs> right. And not that much rage. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! You know what? Meat Grinder is pretty much reserved for all my uh, harder core titles like Dark Souls yeah, or Bloodborne. Like, I mean, the, the original idea came to me when I was watching you get your ass kicked in that one Dark Souls fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, Tofu's uh, Meat fucking, Grinder. Yeah. And now Meat Grinder is just a thing by itself it's, now. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys.